Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video, we'll take a look at the history of the Borg. This will be part two of our two-part series. If you haven't watched part one yet, please do that now. So in part one, we discuss the Borg origins, how Guinan knew of the Borg, and how Annika, or Seven of Nine, got assimilated. So let's go ahead and get started. In late 2366, a Borg cube invaded Federation space and assimilated Jean-Luc Picard, whose tactical information contributed, along with the Borg's own vastly superior power, to Starfleet's disastrously one-sided engagement with the Borg in the Battle of Wolf 359. A fleet of 40 starships assembled to combat the cube. All but one of these starships were destroyed, while the cube remained intact, damaged, but healing rapidly. The Enterprise D recovered Picard and used his connection to the hive mind to disable the cube before it could attack Earth. During the 2370s, the Borg were beset by several major setbacks in the Delta Quadrant, as witnessed by the crew of the USS Voyager. The Borg species 8472 War decimated the collective from 2373 to 2374. While Voyager's liberation of Seven of Nine allowed Unimatrix Zero to create an active resistance movement in 2377. And in 2378, a crippling blow was delivered to the Borg when Voyager discovered one of their transwarp hubs and destroyed it, killing the Borg Queen again and devastating the Unicomplex in the process. During this battle, the Borg were infected with the Neurolytic Pathogen, which was carried by an alternate future version of Admiral Janeway and designed to disrupt the hive mind, to bring chaos to order. It was a pathogen that killed the Borg Queen and allowed Voyager to destroy the Transwarp hub. And that, my Star Trekker friends, is part two of our two-part series discussing the history of the Borg. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.